Best family on YouTube. Good morning. Um, let's get let's just get right into this. Intimacy, right? We all know what intimacy looks like, right? Well, most people get this wrong. When most people think of intimacy, they think bed. I'm not going to go in great detail because this is YouTube, and I will get demonetized. Um, when people think of intimacy, they think bed stuff. I'm not going into great detail, like I said, but they think bed stuff. So, you have to be vulnerable, right? And when I think of intimacy, they know everything about you. The goods, the bads, the worst, the highs. They know everything about you. And you can't, it's impossible to get that when you're not being vulnerable. I understand, man, it is hard for all of us to be vulnerable. I get it. I'm, I'm that way too. But if you can't show your vulnerability to someone, if you don't, I'll put it to you this way. If the person that you're with, this, this goes with both, both people, both, both sides of the, of the gender or whatever you're, whatever you are. This goes hand in hand with both sides. Man, female, whatever it is. This goes hand in hand. Um, intimacy is more of if you can be vulnerable with the person that you're with. If you can be vulnerable with them and you and you feel safe and loved and appreciated. And you can tell this person your, 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 your story, your, your history. If you can tell that person your your history and your story and you're still sitting by you saying, it's okay, I still love you regardless of what happened. Regardless of the porn or the, intim the fake intimacy that people think of sex or X, Y, Z. Okay, most people think of intimacy of sex. But it's not that at all. Intimacy is you knowing a person's story and you're choosing to love them anyway most people think of love and relationships and i used to do this all the time most people think of relationships as okay i love how they do i love how they make me happy i love how they do this i love how they do i love how they make me happy i'm i i love how they make me 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 and you're going off of feelings. And when that feeling stops happening. And you're not finding anything else that you're in love with. You're not in love at all. You haven't found a relationship. When That's when true love kind of hits. That's kind of when true love kind of hits the face of that relationship. And goes, okay, it's no longer what me wants. It's no longer what can I be or not be but what can i take besides of i love how they make me happy i love how they make me feel loved and appreciated and blah 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 this all fake happy love stuff when that dies off and you're not addicted to that you're not addicted to that false reality because then you break up with someone then you go over here and do the same thing over and over you're never gonna find love I'm sorry, you're, you're never going to find it. If you can get off of that pattern, that fake love, if you can get off of that, and you can sit there and go, you know what? I love how they smile. I love how they go about life. I love how her person or his or whoever, your significant other, I love how X does this. I love how... X goes about this situation. I love how X carries themselves. I um, I love how X does this. If you get that, you love how X does this. Or you love how, how, how X does Y. If you get that, you have found, you have found true love in that whole relationship. You, you found it. Congratulations, you're one in... One in a million. There's seven billion people on this planet. And and I chose you, right? Everyone chooses chooses their person to be with for life, right? Seven billion people and I chose you. 
why did I choose you? There's different there's different answers for different people. But you know what? The most common the most common thing is most relationships fall apart because they feel happy, they feel loved, they feel appreciated. Those are all good things to have. But when the love stops, when that fake love stops, and the true love starts to kick in, what's it really about? What do you love about the person? How how do they do stuff to make you look at them like, yeah, that was kind of cute. That was kind of that was kind of cute how you did that, or it was kind of cute how you did that situation, or how you handled yourself in that situation. That was cute. When you can do that, when you can go, when you look at your person, you're like, I love how they carry themselves in the morning. I love how they carry themselves throughout the day. I love how they're doing X. When X, when you when put your X, your situation in X. But let's just put your. Let's do that. Let's put your X. Put your situation on X. I love how. Fill in the blank here. I love how they do that. I love how they also do that. If you could do that, if you just can answer those two questions, those two simple lines, anyone can do that. If you cannot do that, I'm sorry. You haven't found the one. And men, I understand where this is coming from. I understand. But coming it coming it coming. Having it coming from me, someone who has had multiple, multiple relationships and understands women very, very, very nice. If you treat them as a trophy, not necessarily a trophy necessarily, but a um what's what I'm looking for? Not even a prize. But if you treat the woman like a woman should feel if if not in a creepy way but if you look at a woman and you just kind of stare at her and this kind of worked for me over over the years but i know how to do it if you just kind of stare at the woman not breaking eye contact and if she looks away keep eye contact if she looks away and comes back and she and you and she finds you staring at her yeah not in this creepy not in this creepy way, but in this kind of like, I, it's hard to explain, but it, it's this, it's this kind of awe moment, right? And you're just like, I'm just staring at perfection. And it's that look. It's that look that she's looking for. She's like, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to be looked. I want to feel like I'm perfect in your world, even though I'm not. I'm a human being, and yet I am not in your world i am perfect and when she feels that when she gets that you have known and if you're vulnerable with her and she still loves you that's how you know being vulnerable and getting what you want is not impossible it's actually impossible if you can't have if you're not vulnerable and you cannot tell someone your story that's being vulnerable but bud that's being vulnerable. Being vulnerable is telling your story, telling your history, telling that person what you you put up with, not in a, not in a negative way, but kind of being honest and going, I've been hurt, I've been doing, I've been. Don't talk bad about your ex, cause we all hate it. Every man and woman hate this. Don't talk about your ex. Ugh, don't do that. But what you do do is you go, I've been hurt before. I've also heard that. Just don't say my ex did that. Oh, I hated it when my ex did this. I hated it how my ex did that. Don't do that. What you do is I've been hurt before. I've been hurt. I've been chewed up and swallowed by multiple people. That's how you do it. That's how you tell your story. I did it before. And look what I got. Anyway, this is a short one. I will see you guys in the next one. No matter what you're doing, I post every single Monday on this channel. I will see you guys in the next one.